The Southern African Large Telescope is a 10-metre class optical telescope designed mainly for spectroscopy. It consists of 91 hexagonal mirror segments each with a 1-metre inscribed diameter, resulting in a total hexagonal mirror of 11.1 metres by 9.8 metres. It is located close to the town of Sutherland in the semi-desert region of the Karoo, South Africa. It is a facility of the South African Astronomical Observatory, the National Optical Observatory of South Africa. SALT is the largest optical telescope in the Southern Hemisphere. It enables imaging, spectroscopic, and polarimetric analysis of the radiation from astronomical objects out of reach of Northern Hemisphere telescopes. It is closely based on the Hobby Eberly Telescope at McDonald Observatory, with some changes in its design, especially to the spherical aberration corrector. It shares the same fixed mirror altitude design, with access to 70% of the visible sky. The main driver for these changes were desired improvements to the telescope's field of view. First light with the full mirror was declared on 1 September 2005, with one arc second resolution images of globular cluster 47 Toucanet, open cluster NGC 6152, spiral galaxy NGC 6744, and the Lagoon Nebula being obtained. The official opening by President Thabo Mbeki took place during the inauguration ceremony on the 10th of November 2005. South Africa contributed about a third of the total of 36 million United States dollars that will finance SALT for its first 10 years: 20 million United States dollars for the construction of the telescope, 6 million United States dollars for instruments, 10 million United States dollars for operations. The rest was contributed by the other partners, Germany, Poland, the United States, the United Kingdom and New Zealand. General information SALT is located on a hilltop in a nature reserve 370 km miles northeast of Cape Town, near the small town of Sutherland. In March 2004, installation of the massive mirror began. The last of the 91 smaller mirrored hexagon segments was put in place in May 2005. Korea and Japan have telescopes at the site and South Africa has at least five optical telescopes there. The University of Birmingham has a solar telescope to help monitor the Sun. SALT will probe quasars and enable scientists to view stars and galaxies a billion times too faint to be seen by the naked eye. Primary mirror Both SALT and HET have an unusual design for an optical telescope. Similar to the Keck telescopes, the primary mirror is composed of an array of mirrors designed to act as a single larger mirror, however, the SALT mirrors produce a spherical primary, rather than the paraboloid shape associated with a classical Cassegrain telescope. Each salt mirror is a 1 meter hexagon, and the array of 91 identical mirrors produces a hexagonal shaped primary 11 by 9.8 meters in size. To compensate for the spherical primary, the telescope has a 4 mirror spherical aberration corrector that provides a corrected, flat focal plane with a field of view of 8 arc minutes at prime focus. Each of the 91 mirrors is made of low expansion siddle glass and can be adjusted in tip, tilt and piston in order to properly align them so as to act as a single mirror. Because the mirror is spherical, light emitted from a position corresponding to the center of curvature of the mirror will be reflected and refocused to the same position. Therefore, the telescope employs a center of curvature alignment sensor situated at the top of a tall tower adjacent to the dome. Laser light is shone down on all the segments and the position of the reflections from each mirror measured. A process called stacking thus allows the telescope operator to optimize the adjustments of the mirrors. The telescope is also unusual in that during an observation, the mirror remains at a fixed altitude and azimuth, and the image of an astronomical target produced by the telescope is tracked by the payload which resides at the position of prime focus and includes the SAC and prime focus instrumentation. This is similar in operation to the Arecibo radio telescope. Although this results in only a limited observing window per target, it greatly simplifies the primary mirror mount, when compared to a fully steerable telescope, transferring the complexity to the smaller and lighter payload tracking system, providing for an overall reduction in total telescope construction cost. 
Salt has a fixed zenith angle of 37 degrees, optimized for the Magellanic clouds, but because of the full range of azimuths and the celestial rotation, salt has access to a good fraction of the sky available at the Sutherland site. Another consequence of this design is that the entrance pupil varies in size during the tracking of a target. Instrumentation The first generation instrumentation for SALT includes the SALT Imaging Camera designed and built by the South African Astronomical Observatory the Robert Stoby Spectrograph NE Prime Focus Imaging Spectrograph, a multi-purpose long-slit and multi-object imaging spectrograph and spectropolarimeter designed and built by the University of Wisconsin-Madison, Rutgers University, and the SAAO, and a fiber-fed high-resolution spectrograph hours, designed by the University of Canterbury, New Zealand. SALTICAM was installed in early 2005, while the RSS was installed on the 11th of October 2005. Topic: <laughs> Internet connectivity. The telescope is connected to the SAAO site in Cape Town via a 1 gigabit per second fiber connection over the SANREN network. The SAAO has a 1 gigabit per second connection to the SANREN network with 30 megabits per second of that link being the international portion. Topic: <laughs> Science Working Group Membership of the SALT Science Working Group David Buckley, Gerald Cecil, Brian Shaboya, Richard Griffiths, Janus Kaluzny, Michael Albro, Karen Pollard, Kenneth Nordzik, Dara O'Donoghue, Larry Ramsey, Anne Sansom, Pat Cote Partners Dartmouth College Georg August Universität Göttingen Hobby Eberly Telescope Board National Research Foundation of South Africa Nikolaus Copernicus Astronomical Center of the Polish Academy of Sciences Rutgers, the State University of New Jersey University of Wisconsin-Madison University of Canterbury New Zealand, University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill United Kingdom Salt Consortium UKSC, comprising Armagh Observatory Kiel University University of Central Lancashire University of Nottingham Open University University of Southampton in 2007 the following new partners joined the Salt Consortium American Museum of Natural History Inter University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics India Topic Research Research using salt at the South African Astronomical Observatory has led the facility to important discoveries By using the Southern African Large Telescope SAAO has the ability to take snapshots of stars in very quick succession it is optimized for wavelengths and observing modes not available on other very large telescopes. As a result, astronomers can study rapidly changing properties of compact stars, primarily as they pull in gas from their companion stars or surroundings. The significance of this discovery allows us to detect black holes. The gravitational field of a compact star commonly pulls in gas from a companion star, thus radiation especially X -ray, is emitted. Scientists use this as an indirect way to locate black holes. Another phenomenon that SALT has helped astronomers investigate is the way that masses build up on some compact stars until supernova explosions blow them apart, which gives scientists a «Type 1A» supernovae used to show that the expansion of the universe is speeding up. Other noteworthy research the South African Astronomical Observatory has achieved using SALT include the discovery of a class of stars known as «polar» or a pair of stars. The «polar» binary star system, where a compactor star called a «white dwarf» whose volume has shrunk about one millionth of a star like our Sun. Studies using SALT concluded that these polar binary star systems take only an hour and a half to complete an orbit. 
Also, the SALT telescope allows scientists to study the rapid brightness changes in exotic stars. More research using SALT has aided astronomers to investigate the structure and evolution of our galaxy, such as quasars, Magellanic clouds, the galactic structure and stellar astrophysics. SALT released its first color images, which marked the achievement of the first light. This also marked the debut of the fully operating SALTICAM, which is a $600,000 digital camera designed and built for SALT. First light with the full mirror was declared on 1 September 2005 with one arc second resolution images of globular cluster 47 Toucanae, open cluster NGC 6152, spiral galaxy NGC 6744, and the Lagoon Nebula being obtained. Tourism Despite initial estimates by SAAO that SALT would bring up to 30,000 tourists to Sutherland, the telescope has so far only resulted in about 14,000 annual visitors, which has nevertheless resulted in the creation of at least 300 jobs in the town of 5,000. See also South African Astronomical Observatory List of astronomical observatories List of optical telescopes List of largest optical reflecting telescopes <laughs>